U.S. government finally admits marijuana really does kill cancer cells. The idea that cannabis kills cancer cells seems to no longer be a conspiracy theory in the United States. With this information, can any state legitimately say no to medicinal marijuana? Or could it even be considered a preventative herb to avoid getting cancer? Amy Willis with Metro says that the U.S. government has added a page on the use of cannabis and cannabinoids to their official cancer advice website. Willis advises, the National Cancer Institute, part of the U.S. Department of Health, now advises that cannabinoids may be useful in treating the side effects of cancer and cancer treatment by smoking, eating it in baked products, drinking herbal teas or even spraying it under the tongue. The official government site has a long list of medicinal uses of cannabis, including, anti-inflammatory activity, pain relief, anti-anxiety, stress relief, anti-tumor, antiviral activity and relief in muscle spasms caused by multiple sclerosis, and many many more. The site goes on to talk about how cannabis has been proven to destroy cancer cells in lab experiments. Willis continues, several scientific studies have suggested this in the past. And in April this year the U.S. government's National Institute on Drug Abuse revised their publications to suggest cannabis could shrink brain tumors by killing off cancer cells. If the United States government is finally willing to admit these benefits and that cannabis has been proven to kill cancer cells, then will other Western nations follow suit? If good health and decreasing cancer rates is important to you, then contact your government and tell them about the great benefits of cannabis a natural herb that has a long list of benefits without the side effects of man-made cancer treatments.